So you've probably tuned into this video wondering when you get your broom. Well, today, guys, I have you covered. Okay, so unlocking your very first broom isn't a simple thing within Hogwarts Legacy. Well, I say it's quite simple, it's quite straightforward, but it is an absolute mission. Now, you've probably first thought you could just go to the broomsticks uh, shop. I think it's called the Spintwitch's Sporting Needs shop within Hogsmeade and buy a broom from here. You won't be able to do this straight away, people. You need to do a few things before you can even begin to be able to purchase a broom, which is, yeah, it's just one of them things. So firstly guys, you have to progress this game's quest line, its main quest line. And that consists of you going through quite a few quests. I mean the very first main quest after the prologue is attend your first day at Hogwarts. This consists of welcome to Hogwarts, the charms class, defense against the dark arts class, Weasley after class, the professor running's assignment and welcome to Hogsmeade. That's just the first set of main quest lines you'll have to run through. Uh, to progress and get yourself a broom but it don't end there guys the next main section of quest you have to complete are uh, within the find a secret in the restricted section this consists of the locket secret professor he cats assignment one which is basically doing a cross ones this does count as a side quest but it's mandatory to actually progress this quest so you'll do one and two here as well as uh, the spell combination practice so get them done Hey, but before we go any further, people, now I've got your attention. If you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you're new around here and want those daily Hogwarts Legacy guides and videos, make sure you subscribe. You then have to do the secrets of the restricted section. We have to go down into that tomb. Pretty long. You then, guys, have to do tomes and tribulations. And once you've got all of them out of the way, you'll then have to live as a student until Professor Fig returns. And this consists of you going on and doing the Herbology class, the Potions class, the girl from Wagadoo, does that pronounce? I'm not even sure, people. Well, that quest line anyway. And then you'll have to do the Trials of Merlin. But then, guys, you then have to progress and do a further quest, a further few quests. These are all a part of the main quest line. This is all a part of the Tower of Professor Fig about the map Chamber. Now, this is dependent on the house you have picked. But if you're Ravenclaw, this should be called uh, Ollivander's Heirloom. If you're Gryffindor, it should be called The Hunt for the Missing Pages. If you are Hufflepuff, I believe it's called Prisoner of Love. And if you are Slytherin, this is called Scrope's Last Hope. So once you've got that out of the way and done that, you then have to do Professor Hellcat's Assignment 2. And this is needed to unlock the Expelliarmus. Uh, this you need to uh, successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling uh, and cast Incendio on enemies. Now Incendio you would have got along the way doing the quest lines. Uh, so yes you can do this absolutely anywhere. I actually done this. Uh, I went back to do the third instance of the crossed ones and I got it done there I do believe. But you can do this with any enemy outside in the open world. So find any enemy guys and get this done on them. It's as simple as that. And then once you have done that guys, the next one is Jackdaw's Rest. And this is a bit of a mission in itself guys, this actual quest. But once you've done this, what happens here is you open up your talents. Now me personally, I spent the talent points I had available and then these quests opened up. I mean, it could just be time gated. You may have to spend the talent points. I'm not sure. But as soon as I did spend my talent points, people, I had the next set of quests pop up for me. And while the next one you want to do, which you should have had popped up, is called Complete the First Keeper Trial. So track that and you'll go outside and you'll learn to use a broom. And it's actually quite a fun quest, I'm not going to lie. I guess this is a game where we're giving you a flying tutorial before you are set loose on broomsticks. But once you have done this quest, guys, and you've got it out of the way, what you can then do is go back to Hogsmeade, go back to that uh, Spint Witch's Sporting Need shop, and then you can purchase a broom costing 600 coins. Now, what you want to do here, guys, if you haven't got the money, is sell some of the gear you ain't going to use. This is what I did, guys, and I was able to buy one of these brooms. If you haven't got the means of doing this and you haven't got the money as of quite yet, keep this in mind and the gear you do get, sell it to an NPC, any shopkeepers, 
and then come back and purchase this broom or even bring that gear back to this uh, dude and sell them to him and then purchase a broom from him and then guys you are good to go good to use good to explore on that broom and well guys that's basically how you do it it's quite long it's quite tedious i'm not gonna lie because there's me thinking well i've just missed something here or there but it ain't actually it's actually a part of the quest line so yes guys go and get that broom stick and there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts on a daily basis, those daily guides, be sure to subscribe. And hey, if you want to chat about Hogwarts, talk about new secrets you found, your build, this, that and the other, join my Discord linked below. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.